Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read. Today I'm going to be doing the breakfast book tag. So I was tagged to do the breakfast book tag by Kathy Trithart. And this is her original tag that she created. So this is actually really cool because I've been following Kathy for a while now. And I think it's awesome that she created a tag. I also personally want to create a tag. I just haven't had the time to come up with one yet, but I think it's so cool that she did it. And so I'm really excited to support her by doing her tag. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. The first one is coffee. This is a book that is hot, but not scalding. So for this, I was thinking of romance, obviously, but I haven't read that many romances, but one did stick out for me and that was Red, White and Royal Blue. This book was just the perfect temperature of coffee, if you will. Um, I really enjoyed the buildup between the characters. All the different relationships in this book were very enticing to me. And I really liked the LGBTQ plus rep that was in this book. I thought it was fantastic because of um, things that different characters dealt with. Like I would feel these things too. And just relate to those characters and I really liked that about this book. I also think that if you've read the book, Nora is such an underrated character in it and I think she deserves her own spin-off. Next up is Bagel and this is a book that is so good you can forgive the plot holes. For this one I chose Maze Runner by James Dashner. Uh, it's not exactly this book itself but the whole series. I found when I was reading it there were a couple tiny plot holes that like stood out to me, but the book and the whole series in general was just so good that I was just like pulled right in and it didn't really bother me because they were just like little minor things. But this series was fantastic. I flew through this series and it was just, oh, it was so good. Also, if you didn't notice, I'm trying a different filming angle because this weekend we got new couches and I'm really excited about them. So I'm actually sitting on the new loveseat couch right now. I will insert a picture here. And I also highlight a little bit more of my shelves that you don't see regularly. So yeah, like there's Jigglypuff, muscular Jigglypuff over here. So you don't get to see him too often. Next up is Cereal. And this is a book that is best consumed quickly. I chose If I Stay by Gail Foreman for this one, because I flew through this book. It was a very quick consumption for me. And I think it should be a quick consumption if you read it because it keeps you really pulled in to what's happening. And if you kind of like set it down and go away for a bit and come back to it later on, I just, I don't think it'll have the same um, impact on you. So I think that reading this quickly is better. Um, yes, I know I have the movie cover and not the original cover. Although this is one of the movie covers that I actually don't mind. Like I kind of like how it's laid out. So. I was okay with it. Then we have Toast, and that is something that gets a little dark. I have a lot of books that get a little dark, but there's one book that in particular got dark. So this is The Savages. This is a middle grade book about a family of cannibals. So I feel like it got dark really fast, pretty much in the first chapter of the book. And as you can see, this little child on the front is very dark. His character is very malicious. Um, so yeah, that's why I chose this one. This was a quick read for me. I think I picked this up at the bookstore for like $2. But if you want a book about a family of cannibals, and it's middle grade, so it's still kind of fun. Check this one out. Then we have oatmeal. And this is a book that makes you feel nice and warm. I actually read this book fairly recently, but it just gave me all the warm fuzzy feelings when I read it. And that was fangirl by rainbow Rowell. I just really related to the main character of this book. And it brought me back like to a time when I was in college. So I felt very nostalgic, but I also just felt like the warm fuzzy feelings because of the relationships that bud in this book and um, just how her and Levi interact with each other. is just so adorable and freaking cute. So this book gave me those feelings. Then we have juice and this is to pick your favorite juice and then pick a book based on that juice's color. So my, it was hard for me to decide this cause I really like apple and orange juice, but I ended up choosing orange juice 
And so I chose the Martian for that reason because the whole cover is orange, but also because the Martian is a fantastic book. And if you are a true sci-fi fan, you need to read this book. If you're just a fan of space in general, read this book. Um, I actually won this book in a giveaway and that's how I started reading the book. And I'm so glad that I picked up the book and started reading it because it's fantastic. The witty banter of the main character with himself while he is trapped on Mars is so funny. And it just keeps you engaged because it's like, wow, he's being really humorous, but he's also like trying to survive. And I don't know, I just, I thought it was so hilarious following along with Mark Watney and just seeing his day-to-day -day life and what he was doing every next step that he took. I just thought it was so good. I think everybody should read this book. It's awesome. Then we have eggs or tofu scramble. So as there's many different ways to make that, there's many different ways to live. So this one is to choose a memoir. Uh, I'm going to choose the glass castle. And I really enjoyed this book. I, it, I was sparked to read this book because I saw the movie trailer come out for it. And they used the Lumineers in the movie trailer. And I'm a sucker for like a music element in a movie trailer. So if it's music that I really enjoy, then that makes me want to watch that movie like that. And so that happened and I was like, wow, I really want to read this book because this movie looks really good. I never actually watched the movie, so I never got to that point, but I did read the book and it was really good. Like I don't really read memoirs that often, but just to hear about this woman's story and how her family constantly move from place to place and they kind of lived like squatters. They lived like squatters. So they were constantly going from place to place because they weren't paying the bills and all the different things that this girl had to go through in her life was just fascinating and interesting because you know like this isn't fiction. This actually happened to her. And I just, I don't know, I don't read, like maybe I should read more memoirs because I found it really good. Um, but yeah, I actually lent this book to a fellow volleyball member on my team. So I don't have it here, but I will get it back soon. And that is, I think, the only memoir I own on my shelves. Then we have Fancy Pastries. And this is a genre that you don't normally read, but when you do, you love it. And for me, that would have to be thrillers. I really like thrillers. I just don't get to them enough because I feel like my TBRs don't end up being thrillers, even though I like should put more thrillers on them. I end up reading like sci-fi, fantasy, or contemporary because those, those to be honest, are my top three genres, but thrillers would be like my number four. Um, and I'm usually not disappointed by any thriller that I read. I'm usually like loving them. So yeah, the thrillers, those are my fancy pastries. Then we have Mimosa and this is getting into brunch territory. So this is a book that you're looking forward to. For me, it is queen of nothing. I'm looking forward to this book because I recently finished The Wicked King and I really want to finish this series. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews about this and some people like how it ended, some people don't like how it ended, but I think that I'm going to enjoy it and I'm really looking forward to finishing off this series. So I want to read this soon, hopefully. Plus, I just can't get enough of Fae. Like I love Fae and like Fae folklore. So I'm really excited to just dive more into that and just just take it all in. Yep. I'm gonna do it. And the last one is breakfast for dinner. This is to tell you something that I like to eat for breakfast and then a book of my choice. So I went with the theme of I like to have coffee and buttered toast for breakfast. That's like the most basic breakfast you can get, but that's what I enjoy. And when I think of coffee, I think of sitting in the library at school when I was in college and reading Divergent. And so that's why I chose this one. Um, this was a really good book. Divergent is a great first book to a series because it gets you right in there and you are just like, you're hook, line and sinkered. So I really enjoyed this book and I remember drinking copious amounts of coffee while reading this book. So that's why I chose it. Also, I'm pretty sure every single person on booktube has read Divergent. If you haven't, it's a really good series and I don't think you will be disappointed at all. So you should check it out. This also has nothing to do with buttered toast, but I just like buttered toast. And that's it for the breakfast book tag. So the people that I'm going to take for this are Connor from Connor's Library Corner, um, Sukrup from Sukrup and Books, 
And I'll also tag Joe from Joe's Review Journal. Thank you, Kathy, for tagging me in that. I actually had a lot of fun doing that. And congrats on creating your own book tag. That's it for this video, guys. If you want to support me, I have a Patreon, which you can check out in the description down below. In my Patreon, you can vote on certain books that I read during the month. You can, ch you kind of like help me decide what to read and you have all the power. So that's a little fun. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos every Monday and Thursday. And until next time, keep on reading.